Well, obviously, I have no idea uh, who is advising the government and what's motivating the government. But to be very uh, candid about this, I'm dismayed that I'm here, that I have to be here. We fought a very long, hard, expensive battle on this issue, and we were successful. And for reasons that it just baffle me, the government lawyers or the government advisors um, s s seem to fail to come to acknowledge and come to grips with the fact that the Carter decision um, um, allows all grievous and irremediable ill people, irrespective of whether their death is foreseeable, to avail themselves of a physician assisted dying. You know, the idea, what I think, what I think has happened, and I, it's just so regrettable, is I think the government has somehow become captured by the rhetoric of the disabled rights organizations. And their rhetoric is, is that, you know, all physically disabled people are presumptively and irrebuttably presumptively vulnerable. And they're incapable of ever making their own decision as to when their suffering is intolerable. And they take that position because so f for many disabled people, and I'm one of them, uh, we've managed to tolerate and adapt to our suffering and choose life over death. But to suggest that all physically disabled people have to subscribe to that notion is to is 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 not just patronizing it's infantilizing it's treating all physically disabled people as children incapable of agency and autonomy and i find that incredibly offensive the trial judge did the supreme court of canada did i don't get why this government doesn't understand that